Have you ever wondered why a carpenter's pencil is square and flat? Well, I gotta tell you this. If you think it's because it just looks cool and rests perfectly behind your ear, well, there are some things that a carpenter's pencil can do that just might surprise you. Hi everybody, I'm Leah of CJ and Trill, and if this is your first time here, I just want to say welcome. Now we're a home improvement channel where beginners are welcome as well. We welcome everybody here. Now today's video has to do with this guy right here. It's a carpenter's pencil. And if you think that it's square so that it rests, you know, perfectly behind the ear, well, you would be incorrect. I want to show you a number of things that a carpenter's pencil can do that just might surprise you. Now this may be a little obvious, but a number two pencil will roll on you. But a carpenter's pencil is flat so that when you're working on an incline, it stays put. Now here's the thing with a carpenter's pencil, the dimensions it's deliberate. It's not random. It's actually well thought out because your pencil, believe it or not, can be used as a measuring device. So a carpenter's pencil measures across exactly half of an inch. And the thickness of a carpenter's pencil is a quarter of an inch. So why does that matter? Well, here's the thing. I'm working outside, I'm building a deck, and I want to space my planks a quarter inch apart I gotta tell you this, chances are I've got my carpenter's pencil right there, it's the perfect spacer. And so I'm able to space my planks a quarter inch apart consistently with this pencil. So here I have a number two pencil, okay, and it can only be sharpened one way, and that is to a point and a centered point. So a carpenter's pencil is different because there's only one way to sharpen a number two, but a carpenter's pencil, there's a few different ways. And depending upon how you're going to use the pencil, kind of directs you on how to sharpen it. Now this pencil here has been sharpened to be used as a scribe tool. That's right, I said a scribe. Now I'm going to set it down next to the number two, and if you notice the number two, the lead is just straight ahead. But with the scribe pencil, because that's how I use this one, the pencil lead is going a little bit off to the side. You can't do that with a number two. You can only do that with a carpenter's pencil. So I got my carpenter's pencil sharpened to scribe. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this board here and I'm going to scribe this board to this box. There's a gap down here that closes up toward the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my carpenter's pencil and it's going to ride this box but also scribe. Okay so there we go. There's my scribe line right there. Now if you notice I've sharpened this carpenter's pencil a little different and it has a very blunt edge. I want you to see how blunt this edge is. Can you see that? So let's say that I need to mark a brick, okay, and I grab a number two pencil, and I want to strike a line. Well, what I will tell you is this. This pencil isn't designed to mark on stone or brick or anything like that because, well, did you see what happened? Here, I'm going to strike a line again. It's already dull, but I'm going to strike another one. And already, I don't have a lead, okay? Now, a carpenter's pencil, on the other hand, it's meant just for material like this. I can mark all day long. Ready? Look, still got it. Mark it again. Still got it. Mark it again. St I still have a lead there. I'm just marking a brick here, and I can mark all day long on a brick, and it's not going to chew the lead away like on that number two. And I sharpen my pencil with a utility knife and do the flat side and I take off a nice chunk. Alright, just like that. And I do it again until I hit the lead. And I use my thumb, alright? 
Now I've got my lead exposed there, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sharpen it a little bit because I want a nice sharp edge. So I get it nice and sharp. So I want to I want to get it to a point. There we go. Now I want you to sh see how sharp that point is. Now I'm going to mark something with this. Notice how I got a nice fine line there. It's no different than if I were to use a number two pencil watch. Now this number two pencil is a little darker, but this line is much more narrow. So yeah, it's a nice beefy lead, but you can get a nice fine line with a carpenter's pencil. Now it takes a little practice to get it perfect, but you know, pencils are really cheap, so grab a couple pencils and just whittle away. So let me just give you one other tip that I use. I always carry two carpenter's pencils when I'm working outside, and the reason for it is, well, it's that spacer thing, but beyond that, I always sharpen both ends. And that way, I have two pencils that can do four different kind of marking tasks. This, of course, is the scribe. This down here is blunt, okay? So keep that in mind. So who knew, right, that a carpenter's pencil had so many cool uses, right? Now listen, if you like our videos, can I encourage you to subscribe and ring that notification bell because every time we upload a new video, you'll be the first one to find out. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.